In this video, we're gonna make sure that your Twitch broadcasts are being safe. We're also gonna take a look at where you can find them and how you can download them. My name is Tree and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I just remember Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time on Twitch.tv slash Tree. You're also more than welcome to just watch back my vlogs. So let's start off with turning on the past broadcasts. We do that by going to Twitch and going to our creator dashboard. Then here we gotta have to turn it on. We're gonna go to preferences and then click on channel. Here we see store past broadcasts. This needs to be on, it needs to be purple and to the right. Then your past broadcasts being saved. Mind you that everything you streamed before this has not been saved. So from now on it starts saving your past broadcasts. To actually see your past broadcasts, we need to go to your Twitch channel. Click on your avatar and click on channel. Right here we see a tab called videos. If you click on that, you should get to this awesome page with a lot of videos about you. Here we see something called recent broadcasts. It might not be the top one for you as you can change the order of them, but I would recommend keeping this on the top one. And then click on view all. This is where you can view all your past broadcasts. Keep in mind that they will be saved for 14 days and after that they will be deleted. If you highlight things from your past broadcasts, they will stay forever. So if you have important things that you want to keep, make sure to highlight them. If you have Twitch Prime though, they will be saved for 60 days. Also, if you are a Twitch partner, they will also be saved for 60 days instead of just 40. To highlight your past broadcasts and actually download them, we need to go back to the creator dashboard. So top right, creator dashboard. And go to content, video producer. You can also do that directly from here, clicking on video producer. But I like to go through all the steps so you guys know how to get there via the creator dashboard. So here I have a lot of highlights already and some of the past broadcasts. So if you have a past broadcast like this one, exploring the galaxy for the first time, stream 424, we can highlight it. There's a button behind it that says highlight. If you have a highlight, the button says play and you can just watch the highlight. So what we do is we click on highlight and then here we can select a part of the stream in yellow. That will be the highlight. And if you click on publish highlight, it will make your highlight. And that will stay forever on your profile. That won't go away after 14 or 60 days. We're going back now and if you want to download it, what you need to do is click on the three dots here and then click on the button download. It's right here. If you click on that, it will take a while for Twitch to actually send you the document. So keep open your browser and don't quit it. Don't quit this page, just leave it on it. You can open a new tab and do something else. It takes a while, just saying. It can take up to like 10 minutes before it's actually starting to download. So don't click on it multiple times because you're gonna get the same past broadcast a couple of times. It is pretty big as it is probably a couple of gigabytes. So it might also take a while for the download to actually happen. If you guys are planning to use these highlights, for YouTube, I have a lot of advice for you, so just hop into this playlist about how to grow on YouTube as a Twitch streamer. 